Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a mid-month reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today is for the Virgo friends out there. What can I get for Virgo, please? What is the mid-month reading for you? And um, before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the bell. Click the bell now and click subscribe. Private reading, extended reading, and the merchandise. Um, it is all found in the description box below, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. This is for you, Virgo, right? Okay, here you go. You've got the Seven of Wands in upright position. You've got the Hierophant card in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like there's something that you need. I feel like there's something that you need to defend. I feel like it could be a contract. It could be a contract. It could be a money. It could be a position. But there is something that is slipping away. Something is slipping away, slipping away or drifting apart. And seven of wands, you need to move quickly and get it back. Get it back to normal. Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant card. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Um, it could be an ex. It could be a lover. It could also be a friend. I feel like it's a trust. It's a trust. Trustworthy relationship. Okay. Um, a relationship that brings you money. It could be a relationship with your boss. Um, a person that gives you money, a person that commits with you, it's drifting apart your relationship with this person and you need to take it back. You need, don't allow it to slip away. I mean, this is really now. I mean, in I'm seeing in the next seven days, there's something that you need to act because it is slipping away. It is drifting apart. It's a relationship. It could be, could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a relationship with your boss, but it's someone who is very significant in your life. Don't let it go. Don't don't let it don't let it go. You know, don't let it go for some stupid reason. You know, don't let it go for some petty quarrel. Okay. Um. Next, you put the Eight of Pentacles in upright position. Oh, you got the Lovers card, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. You've got an ex or someone you dated on and off. They will come back to you. Um, I feel like this person is connected at work. Or there were at least, you know, eight weeks to eight months that you have not spoken to this person. Um, yeah, I feel like they would like to reconcile. Um, but you would like to take things slow. I mean... The, the, the red flag I'm getting in here is that obviously this person would like to reconcile with you. They would like to have a romantic a relationship with you. Ten of Swords in reverse. If you, if you display the same energy, it might end up with the same outcome. So if you're playing hard to get, playing Cupid. If you and, you and this person have not moved on from the past. If you guys are still... You know, playing hard to get, playing Cupid. If you, you if you in this person, you're still, still hadn't gotten, you haven't gotten over the past, not forgiven, not forgotten. Then all of this effort, it's gonna go to waste. Cause I'm getting like, okay, they're back. They would like to reconcile, but if you're still behaving, and there's, it's 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 two to tango. If one of you, they will make an effort within the, you know, seven. I'm seeing like within two weeks, you know, probably beginning of next month for some of you guys. But if you, you're still behaving like playing hard to get, playing Cupid, if you're loving them and hate them, hating them at the same time, if you're making it difficult for them, then this whole thing of them connecting, it's going to go to waste. Because, I mean, obviously they want the lover's card. They want the reconnection. They want the relationship. But if you guys are still in that, you know, wall, if, if you still have some walls, they will also build a wall to match that. And it, it's going to go to the same ten of swords. How, you know, it's obviously you guys are not ready to be vulnerable. If none of you, they're making an effort. And if you, Virgo, will still will show some, 
some part of you that you're you're not ready or you're not ready to be vulnerable you're not yet you haven't moved on from the past and this shall just go to waste like all of this effort is is not going to work okay all right yeah hangman in reverse this the, this this part of them trying it wouldn't work because of none of you would like to be vulnerable okay these three cards let's see yeah six of swords they came back because you're manifesting each other and they really want to win your heart you know they really really want to win your heart but if you play hard to get play cupid because you feel like you want to punish them or you you want to get even to them or you're just wanting to be not vulnerable not i mean you cannot love and hate the same person i mean love is being vulnerable if you want to be in love and you're not ready to show love or being vulnerable there's no point this is gonna work this is a soulmate connection i keep saying the same message look at that you have manifested this you know a lot of the reading that i get is that when they will come back when they will return and when the person returns you play cupid you play hard to get you play ego <laughs> i mean the universe has answered your prayers the, the universe has responded to your manifestation and yet it's here and you are vibing the same attitude the same low vibe energy how it's gonna work right so i'm getting that in here okay all right okay page of wands some good news okay this is a different energy uh, some good news eight of pentacles i feel like it's an investment surprisingly for some of you guys you're gonna get some rebate seven of pentacles queen of pentacles you will get some sort of rebate a reward a bonus some extra cash cashing and i feel like you will have a money and you don't know where to spend it <laughs> like you're overthinking where to spend it how to spend it you're gonna get to a point i feel like you virgo you've been you've been you've been i mean i feel like you've been stringy stringent <laughs> frugal or thrifty you know like you you've been very very strict with you've been very strict with your spending and then you look one you one day one of these days you look at your account and you realize okay i don't I, i've cleared my debit I've, I've cleared my credit card my i don't have any more to pay so what will they do with my with my money like you're gonna be surprised oh i've got some money like unex unexpected savings or you just re realize that oh my mortgage is is done I, I have this extra money how do i spend it and you can really spend it but you overthink you don't know how to allocate the money <laughs> yeah i mean I, I still see you like okay let me just buy it buy what i need you know but there is an there is a there is a cash flow there is an incoming money or you will free up some debt and you will realize oh i've got some money and you're kind of thinking thinking what do i spend with it there's nothing really is you know making it attracted nothing is attracted you're not you're not very attracted to what you see what you want to buy so i feel like you're gonna wait for you're gonna let it go and just save it for something special i feel like there's something special yeah something special that you'll allocate it okay so this is your reading thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here i hope you like it i hope you have connected with me and i'm virgo also i'm gonna just show you my gratitude journal it's a hundred days of gratitude journal it is available via etsy and it's also available by the website if you're interested guys check it out because it's very therapeutic and it's a gratitude and manifestation at the same time i started mine um my one last new moon and if you're into that writing therapeutic writing and journaling yeah check it out it's in the website all right so this is me i will see you soon guys have a great day bye bye